UB40 formed in December 1978 in Birmingham, England. Taking their name from Unemployment Benefit Form 40, the form issued to people claiming unemployment benefits, an act also known as signing on, the name was chosen as all founding members of the band were out of work at the time. They began playing covers of popular reggae songs as well as writing their own. After a few lineup changes, they released their debut album, Signing Off, in 1980 on independent label Graduate Records, based in the nearby town of Dudley. The subject matter of the songs was a combination of social and political commentary, with tracks like Burden of Shame, about the misdeeds of British imperialism, Food for Thought, that highlighted the famine developing in Africa five years before Live Aid, and Tyler, a song about the wrongful conviction of 17-year-old black American Gary Tyler. Both the singles from the album made the top 10 in the UK pop charts, and the album made it to number two. The second album, Present Arms, also made it to number two in the album charts, but neither of the two singles peaked as high as the singles from the previous album. Their third studio album, UP44, made it to number four in the album charts, but the three singles barely made the top 40, with the highest charting single making it to number 25. The pressure was on to deliver another album and try to regain the success of their earlier albums. They had recently set up their own studio but felt they didn't have enough new songs for an album. So they decided to go back to their origins and record cover versions of the reggae songs that inspired them to start the band in the first place. They set to work picking songs for what would be their fourth studio album, Labour of Love. One of the songs they chose was by English-based Jamaican singer Tony Tribe, Red Red Wine. Red, red wine. It was released in 1969 on Trojan Records and was the label's first mainstream hit, making it to number 49 on the pop charts and kick-starting the label that would be a major player in popularising reggae music in the UK. What UB40 didn't know was the Tony Tribe song was in fact itself a cover of a Neil Diamond single released in 1967. Red, red wine. It wasn't a hit for Diamond, only making it to number 62 in the Billboard charts. Jamaican group Jimmy James and the Vagabonds released a more soul-inspired version in 1968. Red, red that version reached number 32 in the UK charts, and it's likely this is the version that inspired the Tony Tribe cover. Some members of UB40 noticed the writer listed as N Diamond, but still didn't make the connection to the American crooner. The thing is that a lot of the stuff that we covered on the Library of Love series, we thought was reggae, but they were all covers of um, like Neil Diamond's uh, Red Red Wine or whatever. I didn't even know it was Neil Diamond at the time. <clears throat> you know, when you used to look at your records and there'd always be the name of the artist and then in inverted commas yeah. would be the actual writer. N Diamond. It was N Diamond, so we're thinking, you see, the Neville, Negus, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nicky, yeah. you know. And so to find out that it was Neil Diamond, it could have knocked us over with a feather. The UB40 version was released in 1983 and very quickly became the band's first UK number one. It also reached the top spot in four other European countries and New Zealand. The single wasn't such a big hit in the USA, although it did manage to reach number 34. The album, Labour of Love, also reached number one, selling twice as many as any of their previous albums. The album version also included a rap by group member Astro, that was omitted from the version released as a single in the USA and in the UK. In 1988, UB40 were asked to play a concert celebrating Nelson Mandela's 70th birthday. The concert was broadcast in 67 countries to an audience of over 600 million people and prompted some radio stations in the USA to start playing UB40's version of Red Red Wine again. Wanting to capitalise on the newfound popularity of their half a decade old single, Virgin Records delayed the release of UB40's next album, Labour of Love 2, in order to re-release Red Red Wine in the USA. It proved to be the right move as it sold a half a million copies second time around and made it to number one on the Billboard charts. Neil Diamond rates the UB40 version as one of his favourite covers of one of his songs, and often performs a reggae version himself at his own concerts. On a few occasions, he's even performed Astro's rap. (laughs) 
So a cover of a cover of a cover becomes the band's signature song and sends the once politically minded group down a much more commercial path. Now, what do you think? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to get all the latest videos. Thank you.